the winter outlook is in, and here's what we're talking about over the next uh, several months. So meteorological winter is December, January, and February. If you look, La Nina is expected to linger through those months. And what that means for us typically here in North Texas is an above normal winter. So when we calculate the lows and the highs in every day of December, January, and February, the confidence is high that it's going to be a warmer than normal winter. That doesn't mean we can't see snow for the kids that are wondering. It's possible still. You may get a, and you will, uh, get a shot of really cold air here or there. But overall, the winter is likely to be warmer and sadly, drier than normal too. The precip forecast does look equally as bad. Uh, we expect below normal precip. We typically see 8.13 inches of rain in those three months. By the way, this month of October, we've only seen, we've seen less than a tenth of an inch of rain out of DFW, which is more than two and a half inches drier than normal. And since the fall, we've seen less than a half an inch since September. I mean, it's, that's almost a two month accumulation of less than a half an inch. That's nearly five inches below normal. A big problem is October is normally our second wettest month that we see with an average of 4.37. Uh, and currently it's the 14th driest October on record. So no surprise to see the drought monitor not looking good. This is the latest one released today. We have widespread, moderate and severe drought across uh, all of North Texas and some pockets of extreme drought to the southwest of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So we definitely need some rain and we're tracking at least a chance as we get into the weekend. So let's talk about that. Uh, this weekend, I should say, is dry. I'm tracking the chance over the weekend for Monday is what I'm trying to say. And you'll see what happens. Weekend is breezy. There's that fire danger that we have to talk about. We have low humidity. Winds this weekend will be gusting up to 40 miles per hour. Limit the outdoor burning and just be extra careful uh, when it comes to that. Monday night into Tuesday is when our cold front moves into North Texas. There it is. So 80s this weekend, showers and storms possible Monday night going into Tuesday. Uh, unfortunately, this is not drought busting rain. This system's not going to sit and linger very long. But most in North Texas should at least pick up a little bit of measurable rain, a quarter to three quarters of an inch. Uh, that's the current forecast for the Dallas Fort Worth area and really most of North Texas. There could be some higher totals in East Texas where there could be one, maybe two inches of rain in isolated spots. Something to look forward to. It's going to get cool too. Up tonight, 53. Light winds and cool, but tomorrow afternoon is quite a difference. We'll start the day at the, you know 53. We expect to end near 90 degrees. And there's the 10 day. There's the rain chances as we get into the early part of the week. And then uh, Wednesday and Thursday, even Tuesday, much cooler too. Temps in the low 70s, 72 on Wednesday, 76 on Thursday. Another little front on Friday, live 75. 